Have you ever wondered how your Wi-Fi still works in another room, even when there's a wall right in the way? Wi-Fi signals are actually a kind of invisible light, a form of electromagnetic radiation, just like the light we see with our eyes, but with much longer waves. Wi-Fi usually works at 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. That means the waves are happening billions of times per second. At 2.4 GHz, each wave is about 12 cm long. At 5 GHz, it's about 6 cm long. Now, because those waves are a few centimeters long, they can actually slip through materials like wood or drywall, things that aren't very thick compared to the wave itself. But here's the catch. Every wall soaks up a little bit of that signal, scatters some in different directions, and only lets part of it through. It's kind of like sunlight passing through tinted glass. Some light makes it through, but it's dimmer on the other side. That's why when you walk into the next room, your Wi-Fi bars drop. Now, not all walls are created equal. Light materials like wood and drywall let a lot of signal through. Thicker stuff like brick or concrete blocks much more of it. And metal? That's a total Wi-Fi killer. It reflects the waves completely. Even water blocks Wi-Fi really well, which means, yep, your fish tank can actually mess with your router signal. And here's a cool twist. Wi-Fi actually comes in two main flavors. 2.4 GHz has longer waves, so it travels farther and passes through walls better. 5 GHz has shorter waves, so it's faster and carries more data, but it's easier to block. So when your video starts buffering in the bedroom, that's your walls fighting back, and 5 GHz usually loses that battle. So, Wi-Fi doesn't really go through walls effortlessly. It's just strong enough to push through a bit, losing some power each time it does. In the end, Wi-Fi is literally light you can't see with wavelengths long enough to sneak through your walls, but not without a little struggle. Pretty cool, right? If you love learning how everyday things actually work, hit that subscribe. This is the 5WH Lab, where curiosity meets science.